Let's set up an NDI broadcast sender to get video out of Unreal Engine and send it out to other NDI clients. So I've got Unreal Engine 4.25 running here and the NDI plugin has already been installed and I've done a reboot and everything seems to be working. And that shows up here in my uh, place actors. Uh, I have an NDI section for that. So if we're going to broadcast out of this scene, I have a brand new scene, nothing's been added. What I'm going to do is add an NDI broadcast actor into that level. And that's going to give us this camera that's looking into the scene. Uh, I can hit E to rotate. I'm just going to angle that down a little bit so we can see in the camera the floor. Uh, w would let me move that up and down. And R would let me scale it, which would be useless for a camera. So we won't do that. Okay, so the camera is in position. And uh, now we're going to need to be able to feed that output to an NDI sender. So let me set up a folder to collect all this NDI stuff in my content browser. So I'm just going to right click, create a new folder and NDI output, and I'll call it 01 in case I have multiple NDI outputs from this scene. I'll just number them so they're easy to find. So now I've got a folder NDI output 01. Okay, so with the NDI broadcast actor selected, I want to go over to the NDI IO in its uh, details, and we want to create a media source for it to be sending to. So I just click this little none drop down, and I say I want to create a new asset, and that is a NDI media sender. Perfect. With that, I'll make sure it's going to go into the NDI output 01, keep that segregated from everything else, and I will give it a name NDI sender 01 and save. All right, so that's showing up here now. If I go into my NDI output folder, we can see the sender is in here. Let's double click this and set up the sender. There's a couple things we really want to make sure of. Of course, the, uh, the resolution and frames per second. We also want to give it a name, so we'll be able to uh, select it and identify it in our NDI client software. So I'm just going to call this uh, Unreal NDI Out01 and then we need a render target so that the camera has a 2d texture buffer in order to uh, render its view into that we can actually broadcast so that render target click this none drop down we want to make sure it is a render target so we'll go ahead and do that this render target will also go into our ndi output 01 folder and i will just name this ndi out 01 target target there we go and save okay so that is now set up and we can close this they're both here in the same folder so really the the chain of information is set up in the scene but we don't have a trigger to actually start the broadcasting by default right now it's uh, set up but it is not broadcasting in order to start the broadcast, we want to catch the event of the gameplay being started or the uh, system being started up. And in response to that, we will start broadcasting. So to do that, I'm going to add an actor, a blueprint actor, which basically lets us write a little visual script in response to events. So I will right click in my content area for my NDI output 01 folder, and I'm going to create a blueprint class, and that will be an actor class because that lets us catch events and I will call this NDI startup 01 actor. Okay, so that actor is ready. However, it needs to be in the scene in order to receive events. So I'm just going to drag and drop that. It doesn't matter where it goes. It's not going to be visible to the camera or anything, but it just does need to be out there in the level. All right, so now we just need to configure that to actually start up the broadcast. So I'll double click get this kind of 3d view with nothing in it we'll just leave that be we want to go to the event graph so that we can actually put together our little command to uh, start the broadcast okay so the event we're interested in here is this event begin play this is what's going to be able to uh, trigger the start of our little visual script now in order for this script to work we need to bring in the broadcast component so we'll just add a component and type in ndi so we can search for an ndi broadcast component great and we'll just call this NDI Broadcast 01. Be really clear about it. Uh, with that selected, we need to make sure that we tell this NDI particular broadcast component in this blueprint where to send its broadcast, what it needs to be connected to. And we need to get this NDI media source selected. Just drop down and NDI media sender. That is going to be the sender. 
Uh, wait, 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 cancel. We don't want to create a new one. We want to choose the one that we already created, NDI sender 01, which is a sender. There we go. We didn't want to create a new one. So now this component is directly connected to the NDI sender here, which is connected to our camera actor. Okay, great. So we can drag this broadcast out here and we want to tell it to do something. Of course, what we want to do is tell it to start broadcasting. So I'll take the output of this, release it, type in the word start and look for the NDI IO and there it is NDI IO and start broadcasting. That's exactly what we want. And this will get triggered by the event begin play. Now we could just stop there at this point. Basically when that actor receives a begin play, it should start broadcasting. It would be good though, uh, if we report in our viewport, uh, some information about whether it succeeded or not. So what I'm going to do is take the return value. It'll be either true or false, either it worked or it didn't and uh, be able to print a message based on that result. So from the output of this, I'm going to say branch so that we can make a decision as to whether or not that was a good or a bad result. And we'll connect the return value to that condition. If it's true, that means it worked. So we'll just drag out here, type in the word print because we're going to print a message to the screen. And that print, instead of saying hello, we'll just say should be working. All right, that's that string. If it's false, we're going to print something different. Print, there we are, print string. And instead of typing in my own text to print, what I'm going to do is take the error message and that start broadcasting because I want to know what problems it ran into. And now if this comes out as false, it'll print whatever that error message is. So that's it. That is our little script here. If I wanted to, I could. So this was going to was worried about this being complicated. I can tap C to put a comment around this and call this NDI startup. All right, so that's ready to go. It's all nice and clean and we can hit compile. No errors. Wonderful. Save. All good. Close that up. And now when we hit play, we should look for the message in the upper right hand or upper left hand corner here. Play should be working. All right, well, let's just see if that is indeed the case. I will uh, open up my studio monitor NDI program. And now look for from this computer Unreal NDI out one. All right, in theory, there it is. That's our NDI output and any other NDI client tool on this network should be able to uh, tune into that broadcast. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.